He was also with the Stanson 1949 and 50. Nicknamed the China Clipper, Norman Kwong is a staple in Alberta's history. Born in Calgary in 1929 to Chinese immigrant parents, he was one of six kids. He inspired me because he gives the best he can and to, to be the best. And uh, that gave me the inspiration that, you know what, that's my goal, I will never give up. At 19 years old, Kwong signed with the Stampeders as the first Chinese Canadian to play in the CFL. He was a powerful fullback and the youngest player ever to win a Grey Cup. He'd go on to win a total of four. His legacy will live forever. It's, it's enormous. It crosses all boundaries. But the most fun was he was a very funny guy. Uh, if anybody ever heard him speak publicly, he always had a great line. He always had a great joke. Uh, he could keep a thousand people in stitches. Kwong was inducted into the Stamps Wall of Fame in 2012, but his success didn't stop as a professional athlete and team owner of the Calgary Flames. After sports, he transitioned into business, working in commercial real estate, then politics, serving as Alberta's 16th Lieutenant Governor for five years until 2010, and he was also named a member of the Order of Canada. On behalf of City Council, I would thank him for his service to the community. Mayor Nahed Nenshi says Kwong was truly one of the greatest Calgarians, whether in sport, in business, or in public service. He was an inspiration to all of us, helping everyone understand that this is a place where anyone can be and do anything. Even Premier Rachel Notley released a statement saying Kwong was a person of exceptional character and extraordinary accomplishment, a great Albertan and a great Canadian. We will miss him. Ken King says the Flames will have a tribute to Kwong at the first game of the season. He says he had a big impact in our community. I mean, he was one of the reasons the Calgary Flames got to be in Calgary, an important reason. He's probably the guy that did more to save the Calgary Stampeders at one of his most difficult periods in its history. Kwong's family calls him genuine. He leaves behind his wife Mary, their four sons and ten grandchildren.